the capital account. The capital and financial accounts track the movement of funds for investments and loans into and out of a country. Although they are sometimes talked about separately, the financial account is actually a subsection of the capital account. The capital and financial accounts consist of direct investments, portfolio investments, government capital, and official reserve transactions. Direct investment, also called physical flows, refers to actual foreign direct investments such as investments in real estate, manufacturing, and local acquisitions. Foreign direct investment occurs when an investor acquires ownership and control over these assets. Portfolio investment refers to money flowing into and out of the country for the purchase of financial assets such as stocks and bonds. Government capital refers to government transactions outside the country of residence. Official reserve transactions refers to changes in the country's foreign exchange reserves, its net positions in the International Monetary Fund, or its gold reserves. Capital that is transferred out of a country for the purpose of investing is recorded as a debit in the capital account. Capital that is transferred into a country for the purpose of investing is recorded as a credit in the capital account. It is important to note that when capital is transferred into a country for investments, for instance to buy stocks or bonds, it counts as a credit on the capital account. However, the interest or dividend that is paid on those assets goes back out of the country and counts as a debit on the current account. It works the same the other way as well. When capital is transferred out of a country for investments, for instance to buy stocks and bonds, it counts as a debit on the capital account. However, the interest or dividend that is paid on those assets goes back into the country and counts as a credit on the current account. A capital account surplus means that there is more money flowing into a country for investments than there is flowing out of a country for investments. A capital account deficit means that more money is leaving the country for investments than there is coming into a country for investments. A capital account surplus is usually balanced by a current account deficit, and a capital account deficit is usually balanced by a current account surplus. Together these accounts make up the balance of payments, which is the subject of our next video. Because the capital account is usually offset by the current account, there is much debate on whether a capital account surplus or deficit is good or bad for a country's economy. In today's global economy, the ability to move capital freely into and out of countries is fundamental for world trade. For this to happen, however, countries are required to have an open or what is called a liberal capital policy. Today, many developing economies are implementing capital account liberalization, a process that removes restrictions on capital movement. The unrestricted movement of capital means that governments, corporations, and individuals are free to invest capital across borders. This then paves the way not only for more foreign direct investments into developing countries, but for portfolio investments as well, resulting in a stronger global economy. While the unrestricted movement of capital is necessary, some economic theories show why some capital account control can be good. For instance, the recent financial meltdowns both in the US and previously in Japan are examples where there was either not enough regulation or not enough regulation being enforced. Economists argue that these financial disasters may have been less severe had there been more control over the capital account. Like the current account, Looking at a country's capital account can give great insight not just as to the level of money flow going into and out of the country, but also which sectors in the country are most affected by this flow. This benefits traders from all markets as we can now see which countries are growing and expanding as well as which sectors in the country are growing and expanding. Fundamental traders will benefit greatly by familiarizing themselves with the general details from the capital account from each of the currencies that they trade. I'll cover this more in the section on specific characteristics of each currency. The current and capital accounts are the foundation for most economic theories involving currency exchange. Because of the offsetting nature of the current account and capital account, having a complete understanding of these two accounts is crucial for traders. So that's the capital account. In the next video, we kick off the section on economic theories, starting with the balance of payments and balance of payments theory. See you then.